Hello everyone, we're wondering, welcome to Mario Review. I'll take a look at episode 20, 1, and 3, or 58 altogether. Of course, the second to final episode, getting soon to the ending, right? Which possibly might be the ending of Witch Studio, because they have said it's not going to do that anymore, which still happens. Maybe they read the manga and they were like, oh, screw this thing, but yeah. Of course, this episode now then, right, follows into After We Know the Truth, and we see Owl explaining more truth and so on. I don't think so much for Sadie, honestly. I think the main point here is that he is the one motivating Grisha to go and get uh, Frida Wright, the founder of the powers, kind of generally motivating that thing and like the time frame and they they have to give the powers away or they die. That that kind of thing. I think that's that's the main thing, right? They can only live for a for a period. Um, I think that that's that that I would say is the main thing. Um, but one thing I talk about first then is the whole Ymir thing. So okay, so I mentioned this last week a little bit, but now I can re-talk about it here, right? So Ymir's backstory was shown again here, very very quickly. Right? Just, just flashed through that um, Ymir backstory, and I really hoped, I re really really hoped that they actually were gonna develop more on that because they already kind of did in the anime, yeah. And that's the thing, right? So I hope they were really gonna, and there is this scene. This also was shown here in this episode, very, very briefly, the blue scene. I will, I will leave it at that, but very, very quickly. They show that blue scene, that's a very important scene for Ymir in the future. And that scene later on is not going to be very... I don't know, I'm hoping, I'm still hoping that the anime is going to develop that scene a lot more than what it in the manga. In the manga they had that scene, but it was just, it was very short. And yeah, I would love more explanation of that scene, but whatever. Uh, I'm hoping for that in the anime as well here now and then, but it didn't happen. So basically, what's important here to understand, I guess I would say, is that the whole Ymir backstory, and I mentioned that, the whole Ymir backstory of her being in the Marley, her being this worship of the Ymir thing and so on, right, that's happening right here in the manga, after the Grisha backstory, after the whole betrayal and Zeke and Dina and so on, after we know all of that, then we get to see the Ymir backstory. So when the anime went really crazy there, because the anime... You know, gave us the Ymir betraying them, right? Joining Raynor and so on, not and I mean, yeah, and then going back to Marley, or whatever. And then you just cut out there. That that was the ending of the manga. It didn't show anything else. But in the anime, they had like a freaking episode, whole backstory, yeah. And the time frame was kind of crazy because when when I was reading the manga during that time period, um, basically this chapter where the anime is right now, then uh, was like eight chapter, I think eighty seven, eight something like that. I think, yeah, we're they're showing this meeting and so on, and Historia reading Ymir's letter, that was happening just before the anime, yeah. So basically, the manga had just written, just a few months before, or like something very, very, very bit before, where the anime was, and the anime just take, took it and put it in. It was felt, felt very crazy, seeing it being animated, like 20, 30 episodes too early, <laughs> yeah. And now then, they just briefed through all that again, right? Which felt weird, they added in the blue scene, and then they just quit everything else, and I really wish they would have like that more. I really wish they would have had, but yeah, picture that though, right? Image name, of course, being the same name as the founder and so on, as the actual demon founder, and that, it makes a lot more sense showing it afterwards, in my opinion, because it didn't mean so much when you saw it in the anime. It was like, oh yeah, here's Emir, she's apparently like a god or something. Yeah, right, I mean, it kind of obviously hinted to being a world outside, whether she was like really, really old, because she apparently lived somewhere else, not in, yeah, whatever, yeah. But um, <laughs> kind of like, it is a weird scene, it is weird, having shown it before, but I, yeah, so I will say one thing, I could definitely recommend people going back and re-watch that episode, where in season 2, um, right, season 2 or yeah, season 2, where you have Ymir, of course, her backstory actually, you should, be, should, should be having it now instead, <laughs> or you can look at that quick, quick flash thing of it, yeah, but anyway, so it's supposed to be there, and, and that kind of gives light to, and I wish they had more on that, they kind of was quick, they were very quickly, but they, they give more light on uh, how the story look at that and so on, and uh, um, how it functions and so on. And also, it gives light on a little of the warriors, right? Because she uh, has some meetings with them earlier and so on, and that makes a little more sense knowing that they're Marley for Marley and so on. So whatever, I, I'm just putting it out now because you see the flash there, and if you had actually watched it at this moment after seeing the Grisha thing, and the Grisha with the time frame and all and so on, I think it would make much more sense. In my opinion, I think it made more sense in the manga, definitely. In the anime, it was more like, oh, here's like, motive. can I explain that it's something outside, something over here, that it's not part of the of the paradise thing. That's kind of what they're explaining, right? But it's not really like, the, the context of her backstory is, 
it's much more, I would say, fulfilling also seeing elders racing and so on, hiding in them, hiding in basements and you know underground and systems force and so on, whatever, right? So they have that going for it. whatever. Let's go on. Um, Aaron finally realizes how it works. I like that. I see him. He remembers punching Dina. And now he knows that this is the bloodline, right? The royal bloodline. That's why the power works because he is not pacified because he's not a part of the royal bloodline. But of course, then when he touches the bloodline, he can come to the power. So that's very important here, right? When he look at the story, I was like, oh, if I touch her, we can to the power line. So they get that whole thing going for them. And um, he's also hiding it away in a bit. He's like, well, I don't want to tell the <laughs> I don't want to tell everyone about that. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of crazy. So that's happening. And um, I think it's interesting that the whole backstory Aaron is giving is him like pretty much like re remembering his own father's life and also part of our life and like telling Armin. So we, we see the flashback, but in a way it's actually Aaron like, oh yeah, then next day this happened. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, so he's actually experiencing the flashback with us, right? Um, but the actual flashback, this episode is. I would say this, and maybe some hate for that. I think it's pretty okay. I think it's interesting. Okay, we get the, the time frame so but otherwise, that to me felt very long. It felt very long, like it was 10 minutes, probably less than that, but it felt like half the episode was just like Grisha and Owl talking on the, on the wall, and I was like, okay. <laughs> but you can summarize it in like two things, right? Uh, he gives him the photo, which was a great scene, and gave him the photo, that's the photo from the basement, that was a great photo, that was a good scene. He gives him the photo, and uh, you know, then it's like, you know, you're better, you're better, more than a boy, and like you have time frame, and you're better going, you have to do it. That's pretty much it, like he's motivating Grisha to do it, and talks about the time frame, talks about 13 years thing. That, that's it, right? The, that you pretty much, when one sentence, that scene can be summarized. Uh, rest of it is just them kind of like talking, and kind of like, I mean, I get it, he's depressed, of course, his wife just died or didn't die yet, but you know. So of course he's depressed, he's emotional and so on, but it, it does feel a little bit like, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is well, it's kind of weird. I felt that the scene was longer here in the anime, it felt longer and more right out, like it's paced out a little weirdly. Um, but I think that's going to be the same for the next episode, where I feel that there is no way that they can have a full episode of them just going to what the preview showing. There's no way, there has to be more than that. So, I want to guess it's a much in direction too. I want to guess the next episode, minor, minor, minor spoiler, minor spoiler. So, you've been warned. I'm guessing it's going to be showing the new cats, right? Like for next season four, it's going to have some new characters. And I think that uh, I'm pretty sure that the ending is going to be probably five minutes at least, just showing those characters that to kind of like, oh shit, it's going to happen. Yeah. Or it's always on scene from, you know, like, in uh, 10 episodes from now, this passion might die. Yeah, something like that. They're probably gonna show some kind of like hinting to a death scene or something, you know, like like last year when they had the whole um, Mikasa versus uh, uh, Levi and so on. They probably have something like that to motivate you to either buy the manga right or to, uh, you know, wait for the next season. Right? I think the things that is, that's probably what they're gonna do next episode. Um, unless they're gonna really drag it out. I hope to go into the Emer team though. And I really mean that because I know this might be. A, I wouldn't say spoiler, but it's like a minor hint spoiler. I would say like the manga didn't do her justice, if that makes sense. And I don't mean like badly or good. I don't mean like what happens to her or what she's doing as well in the future in the storyline. I just mean generally, like it's just not a very, like it's just kind of weirdly, like this, there could be so much more being explained there. So that's kind of what I mean, right? And as, 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 as I already did, I don't know if I said it twice now already, but as I really did the whole email thing two years ago, I wish they could, you know, develop that further this episode, right? Or at least next episode. So that I still have hope for that next episode. Maybe they're going to develop more of the imagery, more of the story are reflecting on her letter and so on. But I doubt it, because that, that thing would be in this episode. Um, but yeah, that would be my hope for next episode. Yeah, that, but I'm thinking they're going to just show a lot of new characters, just, but probably like hints to next season, right? Uh, it's kind of weird. So I don't know, because I remember last, was that episode 12? Let's see what's the correct thing here now. No, I think it's the last episode of last season, right? So actually, like season three's uh, skip, yeah, third episode before the before the, the season skip thing. Uh, I think so. So I'm saying the wrong thing here now. But yeah, that episode, which is episode um, minus twelve, then so 
Jag vet 58 now, så so yeah, 46, I think it is. Maybe I'm saying it wrong now, but I'm sure it's 46. That episode I felt was pretty weak, right? The ending was really good. The ending with showing and then, yeah. But there was like a weird episode where they're going to um, back home to the wall. And it was like, it's clearly here that this episode here is like a half a chapter. And you just kind of talked a lot and just nothing really happened. And I think that some people are like, oh, you just want action. I, I mean action, okay? Because sometimes there's a difference between, you know, just talking and talking without any substance, right? There's a lot of scenes, not just anime, but I mean in movies, TV shows, or whatever, where it's like, okay, there's a lot of talking here right now, but they aren't saying anything. They aren't actually like talking about the main plot or driving character development. They just kind of like, oh, oh, good weather, oh, yeah, love, yeah. I think one episode, I think that, that ending really felt like that. Not the full episode, but half the episode felt like that in my opinion. And I am a little worried next week it's going to be the same thing because it's just like too little content left to, um, yeah. I mean, obviously there is like a, you know, like a lot of chapters left, of course. Like a full, they can do easily do two more seasons. But I mean, like, because... Given how I, I don't think it's, I'm pretty sure they're not gonna like get into the next arc, right? So what I mean, like it's, it's only like a ten pages more of this arc, something like that. I don't know, but it, it, I, I would say that it's, it's very little info left on this current arc for the next arc, and you, you're probably gonna start the next arc, right? When it's like ten minutes left of the episode, like of the whole season, it's like at least one year break. So they're not gonna do that. So that's what I mean. That I'm very, very certain. I feel very confident saying that. What they're gonna do is probably go to the thing you see in the preview and then it's gonna be like you know 10 5 at least five minutes maybe even more like 10 minutes of like this character might be over there remember seek remember raider over here i think it's gonna be something like that yeah like showing a lot of hints and so on right or the imaging i think so hopefully for imaging but i would guess that they're just gonna be like um, a lot of hints to next season because they can't like fill it out maybe that yeah but i, sp I spoiled warner but i don't think spoiler was so spoiled it's more like this is my guess. Maybe they go into the next arc. Maybe they're gonna show the next arc. It could be into the ending too. But I doubt it. I think if you're doing that, I think they're gonna go in more and show like, um, how to say, the kind of the general premise, right, of the next arc. Like, like not, not like page by page, but more like you know the bigger scenario kind of thing. Still kind of starting it, and then it's like see you in one year or something. Yeah, probably. But anyway, hope that the review. But I'm interested to see how the ending it. How they're gonna end it next week. Um, yeah, I know I've been, I know I'm repetitive, but I, I hope that they follow one of the best female characters here in me. I hope they give her a little more justice that and develop her as that um, next episode.